Are you ready for Halloween? For this simple build, I'm going to show you how I made these haunted lampposts to light the path for trick or treaters. Hello everybody, I'm Brad and this is our Halloween edition of My Simple Builds. This project makes use of our old fence posts that I tore out of the backyard. You can also use garden posts from your local big box store for a similar look. You're going to need some concrete blocks, some lanterns, spray foam, and garden hooks. I cut all the posts down to the same size. If you're using old boards like me, don't worry about cleaning them off. The extra dirt and spider webs add to the effect. Then insert the posts and level if necessary. Eh, on second thought, don't worry about it. It's a Halloween project and a little leaning of the post gives it a creepy effect. Be sure to place some grocery bags around your blocks to prevent the foam from getting all over your driveway. Shake up your can of foam and fill the gaps around the posts. To add to your effect, you can also set your garden blocks inside large garden pots. In that case, you're going to want to spray the extra foam around your blocks to fill the pot. This could help later if you wanted to plant fake weeds into the pot. For my project, however, we're just going to use the blocks. Let your foam dry for a few hours and then trim if necessary. Now on to the lamps. You can really go cheap with your lamps. However, because I want to reuse these lights next year as part of my haunt, I spent a little extra and purchased these Hampton Bay Flicker Pathway lights from Home Depot. They cost about $20 for a pair and luckily I scored a discount on mine. From there, I prepped the lamps for the hanging wire. The wire I used was a thick photo frame wire. However, you can also use metal clothes hangers for this project. Carefully drill two holes evenly on the underside of the lamp base. Then, reassemble and continue the holes into the top of the lamp base. Be careful not to drill into the electronics inside. It might take a couple of tries, but you can bend the wire to whatever shape is needed to make your hangers. Make sure the hanging wire stays firmly in place so that it doesn't fall off with a light breeze. Now, on to decorating. I kept it pretty simple and just used creepy cloth from the dollar store. To finish the project, I'm also going to use some creepy ivy that I will add to the post and the lantern to finish the look. Now you just need to attach your garden hooks and hang your lamps. Happy haunting! If you liked this simple build, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, I'm Brad and this has been My Simple Builds.